My name is Naya. I'm a DJ producer. Your energy is like palpable. Like you can eat it. Like and as a <laughs> DJ, obviously that's crucial. It really is. It's like, and it's so crazy because I've been doing this for 12 years, so. I still get nervous when I'm on stage. Like, I believed in myself so much and I made shit happen for myself. Like, nobody, like, really helped me, if I'm being honest. Obviously, I had my, my family support, but making shit happen and everything that I got is by myself. So it's like, really just, if you wanna do it, you gonna have to do it. You don't have to, like, really do it by yourself and get the shit you want for yourself and being consistent and just be about it. like. Be consistent and be about it and let the world know who you are. Hi, and welcome to Talk About It with Kate. This is season three. And if you're new to this, welcome to the party. And if you're true to this, thanks for sticking around. So this season, as I've mentioned before, if you've been sticking around, if not, go and watch and come right back. Because I talked about how I'm interviewing my coolest friends, the ones who are entrepreneurs, DJs, stylists, photographers, you name it, I got it. And we're going to talk about it. And today I have my friend. She is so fun. She's the cutest little DJ TikToker. Ball of energy you're ever going to see on your social media platform. I have none other than Naya Vazit. Uh, 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 okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, babe. Okay, first of all, thank you for sticking around. Because we've been trying to make this happen for a second. <laughs> we have. And you have graced me with so much patience. And of I'm course. so thankful for it. It's human. It, it. Right. The human experience. Right. Right. So I know who you are. Everyone who's watching from your page yeah. knows who you are. Very. But let's let the people who don't know who you are a little bit about yourself and what you do. So my name is Naya Badass. Um, I'm a DJ producer. DJ for 12 years, producer for two years. I do a whole bunch of other stuff like video editing, uh, event hosting. I'm just a creative, but music is my heart. So producer DJ. Producer okay. DJ for 12 years. Mind you, Naya's still in her 20s. So let's just <laughs> <laughs> let's just praise that like you are you're in it and your accolades are so far above what most people can even do in their entire career and we're going to talk about that obviously but like i just want to give you your flowers thank you because i think that that is so dope especially considering you're from jersey patterson new jersey patterson new jersey you moved to la when a year ago what yeah only year one ago. year ago one year ago officially mm -hmm. okay because we connected a while ago through I don't remember if it was through our friend Dre or if it was through, I don't remember. I don't remember either. I was thinking about that today. I was just like, where do we no, know each other from? No, it was not a year ago. It was way A long a time ago, ago for yeah. sure, yeah. Yeah, because I remember us like crossing paths and then I followed you on Instagram and then it had been a minute before I seen you in person. Yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like I've known you forever. But we, something, something connected us. Yeah. Before. So, Wow. LA for only a year. a year. How has this experience been for you? It's been life changing for sure. It's been life changing for like my career, me as a person, how much I've grown here. Like there's no distractions here. I don't have family or friends here. So it's really just me and my man. So it's been amazing. It's Ooh. been amazing. It's been an experience for sure. I love that for you because sometimes, you know, the experience can be pivotal in another way for people who come yeah. to LA having these like pipe dreams that like sometimes get shattered because they had expectations that didn't necessarily like meet the, the requirement of what it takes to make that happen. But you have not had these problems because you, I mean, not to say you haven't had those problems. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying your journey has been so like profound mm -hmm. in that it would be, it's hard to believe you've only been here for a year. It is. It really is. Like my friends randomly asked me in the group chat the other day. They're like, "How long you been in LA?" I'm like, "It's been like a year and like two months." That shit's crazy. The that type. Oh, so <laughs> crazy! Cause like you went on tour, right? Yeah. Did that happen before or after you moved to LA? Before. Okay, so right before you went on tour with Jack Carlo. Yeah. I would love to talk about that. 
because yeah. I literally remember, I think I commented like, you're my coolest friend. Like you're my, <laughs> I was just like, no way. Cause this was also like Jack Harlow's peak. Yeah, it was like his peak. He, people know who he was. Mm-hmm. You know, he was a white boy, but he had swag. Yeah. He had bars, you know. Yeah. A lot of rappers respected him, but like he wasn't, it was just like, where did he come from? Right. Like what, did, what did yeah. happen? And then boom. Naya's on tour. Naya badass headlining the tour with Jack Harlow <laughs> all around the world. Like, let's talk about it. Let's talk about how that even happened. Mm-hmm. And then we'll segue into like what that did for you. So how did you get acquainted with Jack? So I was a fan of Jack Harlow for a minute. Like I started going to his concerts. Like I loved him a lot. Like his music was just real and just dope as fuck. It was just different. And um, so I had met him, but I'm pretty sure he didn't remember who I was. Mm-hmm. Um, and then long story short, um, I basically saw like something happen with his DJ. I had known his DJ mm-hmm. more than I knew him. I knew his DJ. I connected with him online and um, I saw an article that something like bad happened with his DJ and like. I kind of took that as an opportunity. I'm not gonna lie, like, shoot, shoot, not in the, the bad way, but it's like, okay, he doesn't have a DJ now, so like, it's time to shoot my shot. And I started shooting my shot. I let him know that I hit up his team because uh, we have d- DM'd each other like once or twice prior to that. Um, so I started hitting up his manager. I hit up DJ Drama. I hit up anybody like in on his team, mm-hmm. and um, DJ Drama got back to me, and. He was basically saying, I'm going to send this to the team or whatever. And still, it was like, I forgot. I think it was the summer of like 20, 2022. And I was watching his like festival videos that he was doing that summer. And he had had a DJ. It was a, it was another girl. Um, so I kept shooting my shot because I had, a, I knew he was going on tour in September. And I'm just mm-hmm. like, I'm trying to shoot. I'm trying to get this like for real. <laughs> so I, I didn't, obviously I don't want to DJ. I mean, um, bother DJ drama so much. Like, you know, like I shoot my shot, but I'm not annoying. Uh huh. And I, um, I was like, I got to do something out of the box. Cause that's just who I am. So like my mom was just like, just make a, a video of you DJing his music and be on the mic and stuff. I'm like, you know what? You're right. So I pulled up to my backyard. I set up my equipment mm-hmm. and then I recorded myself doing like a 30 second, like mix of just his songs and me like, just on the mic, um, pretending like I'm at the concert. And I edit it with like the name, like the name of his tour. And like, um, yeah, I just edited it and I sent it to him through DM um, to DJ Drama. I sent it to my friend, Ali B, who, who works for Atlantic Records. I was like, if you would give this to like Jack or Drama and Drama replied and he was just like, um, Jack was impressed by like this video. And from there they, Flew me to Atlanta for a trial and bat, bat, bat. I got you. <laughs> that is, yo, like that speaks to like, don't give up. Like don't, no, don't right. take silence as a rejection, but also really don't take no for an answer either if you don't have to, because mm-hmm. look, look. I was not giving it up. It was like, it was a whole summer. It was like July and August. And like, I still didn't like really hear anything back for sure. And I'm just like watching these videos. I'm like, bro, like just like, bring me in like i'm ready like i trust me i could take this shit to another level so they flew you out to atlanta for your trial yeah did you have to fly back home before you went back on tour or did you go from atlanta i had to fly back home okay so when i went like it's just like so like surreal um i know all his songs and shit so that's why i was just like this is good for me because like the tours that i've been on prior like I wasn't necessarily a fan. Like I, I'm, I'm, I know who they are, but yeah. I wasn't necessarily a fan. Like this person, I actually like. He was like my favorite rapper at the time, for sure. Um, so when we did the tri- uh, the audition, like I met him, so what's up? And then um, they gave me the list of like what I'd be playing, and I was on the mic, and he was performing. We were in the studio. And we, it was just like practice. Yeah. And it just flowed. So and then after that, we just started talking, and it, we were just cool. So. It worked out. Did you fangirl? Like in- internally? Internally? Were you internally? Um, I don't re- really remember. Like, <laughs> I feel like I've been doing this shit for such a long time. Like, I don't know. I, I'm just so like, I feel like prior I fangirl. But once I meet somebody, I'm just like kind of chill about cool. it in a yeah. way. Just because it's just like, this is kind of what I do. So mm-hmm. like, it's business at the same time. And it's just like, I'm here to present myself and let you know who I am. So um, it was cool. 
I'm but. letting you know who I am. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I love that. Yo, like, I feel like I'm the same way, too. And when I'm, like, working these big events and stuff and, like, I'm on set or, like, backstage with these celebrities, in my mind, if I know who I'm, who's going to be there, I'm like, Oh, right. But once I'm in front of them, I'm like, hi, nice to meet you. Right. I'm Kate. That's how I feel too. Thank you for coming. Right. Like, type. Yeah. And you, you got to keep that like a uh, cool, calm, and collectedness. One hundred percent. Because also like they're people. Like they're these people, people are people. Like right. You're just a fan of their work. Just like you could be a fan of your friends' work. Like I'm, a, I'm your fan. Oh. Like I love your TikToks likewise. and I love the way you are just so like your energy is like palpable. Like you could eat it. Like and as a <laughs> DJ, obviously that's crucial like yeah you want the crowd to be as hype as you are but it it literally looks natural to cut come out of you like i'm like i love watching your shit like especially <laughs> your lives because you don't your energy does not break like i kind of want to buy it i'm like what does she <laughs> how do i get that <laughs> I, i'm a high energy person but you to like engage and be laughing and smiling and like mixing at the same time mind you i can't do all that <laughs> I cannot walk, talk, breathe, step. Like, you're doing it all, like, so flawlessly that it's just, like, you can't help but be a fan. And you can't yeah. help but admire. Thank you. So, like, what was that like? Because I watched the clips from the tour. Mm -hmm. The crowd was eating you up. It was Naya's tour. You? you. <laughs> Jack, who? He's coming out still? <laughs> I, I got to stay for a whole set? Because what? The way the crowd, it looked like water. Like, the waves and like people singing back to you and you're like jumping around the stage and it's like fire is going yeah. up and like smoke and like late like what yeah you had your own tour <laughs> and you didn't even have to do like you didn't have to do nothing that jack had to do because you know it's hard to do a tour but like mama like hi i'm gonna perform tonight thank you for coming to my show you need to start doing merch too like I do, 100%. <laughs> I got a lot to do. Yeah. It's hard. Word, like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, like, thinking about the video right now, and it's just, like, I was watching people in the front, like, fully lose it. Like, they had to be exhausted by the time Jack came out. <laughs> like, <laughs> I got to go home. I'm tired. I'm tired. The DJ wore me out. What is that like for you? Like, oh, it's a buzz, right? Like, It's crazy. It really is. It's, like, and it's so crazy because I've been doing this for 12 years, so... I still get nervous when I'm on stage, like all the time, never, you know? No, like you, no way, no way. I swear, like I you, do. I swear I do. Like, what? I don't know. It's just like something about my nerves in me. Like, but once I press play on that first song, I'm just like, boom, let's get it. Turns <laughs> and it I'll just be turning up. And then I'm like, I does this shit. Like, it's just so natural. But like prior going up to the stage, like I'm just like, I feel a little like, you feel like you have to research the city that you're in, like what type of vibe they like, what type of music they like. Yes, like, I definitely do. Like, and if I know people from that city, I'd be like, yo, what's popping in here right now? Like, I think that's important um, because obviously like everywhere, some things, especially like underground shit that they only like know from the city. Mm -hmm. Like that's, that's important. Like for me to do my job and, and to like find that if there is like what's popping right there, you know, in that city. So yeah. I definitely do it if I have like the connect and yeah. I'll even like bro. Sometimes I'll even like ask people on the line or something like prior to the concert, like what y'all be listening to stuff like that. Like because yeah. they don't necessarily know that you're like the DJ. Either. They have like, at first like some people do and some people don't. Like I used to get recognized a lot. Like in the morning when I get off the tour bus, people are online. I'll just be walking to like go find my coffee or something. They're like, oh my god. And I'll be looking crusty. I'm like, hey. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Not on stage right now. But see, like, the way you leave an imprint. Like, I'm somebody who personally, if one of my favorite DJs is throwing a set, I'm going. Like, Period. If, if, even if I don't know the event or if, like, the club is small, like, that's the type of music. Because I'm somebody who music moves me in a way, like, physically. Like, my body is, like, responds to music. You'll never not catch me dancing. I'm always dancing. I love that. But you, like, I feel like you embody the music, like... 100%. Can you explain, like, what it's, like, for you to, like, one, like, okay, so, like, your favorite genre of music mm -hmm. and, like, what it does for you, but then also, like, discovering new music. Like, how does it feel? Because I'm so curious. Like, it's fucking incredible. Like, my favorite genre and what I grew up on was hip-hop, R&B, obviously from the 90s to the 2000s and like dance hall and shit. But like 
over the years, like, I just know so much history of music because of my mm-hmm. parents and because of myself. Like, I just do my research and I, I listen to things and I love things. I truly do. But it really is my family who's really, like, put me on, like, all the fucking classics. But even just, like, now, like, I've been DJing for 12 years. And, like, now, like, I'm still just finding, like, new music and, like, especially on SoundCloud remixes and stuff. Like, just finding new sounds and new genres. Like, that's really, like, what... It just keeps it alive, yo. Yeah. Especially when I DJ, like I get to incorporate like Tame and Paula into my sets, or just like you know old school alternative shit, like into hip hop and everything. I just play everything, so I feel like that shit is just so important. It gets me, it gets me happy because I don't have to just necessarily play one genre mm-hmm. or or whatever. Especially just being out in LA, this is why like I really came here. Like I'm free to play whatever the hell I want. Versus like when I was in Jersey, it was like that. It was so different for me, but it. I love it. I love discovering new music. I love playing everything. And it makes me happy. And I want to talk about, too, like, so you're on TikTok. Like, yeah. Naya has a really fun following on Yay. TikTok. And you go live often. So, like, people see you mixing. Mm-hmm. But what I love is, like, your videos of you. Because, like, you do the two songs. Two left field songs. Like, <laughs> you would never think that these songs mesh. And then you do, like, your super fun editing on top of it. And, like, you show your personality. But, like, what what is the ear that is required for you to mix, like, Beyonce and Adele? Like, like the way that you can just, like, and I wait, too. Because I will read, (laughs) you know how sometimes you'll put it in the caption or, like, you put it in the title. I'm like, no, I want to see. Like, if your video comes (laughs) up, I'll put my phone down. And I'm like, what? (laughs) What? Like, how? how sway like do you sit and it comes to you Mm -hmm. or do you hear it like melodically like can you find like a bar and then be like "Ooh, this would sound good over here yeah and you just sometimes it's melodically i swear like i'll be singing something and i'll hear like uh the one of the beats of another song in the background like and then sometimes it's it be in the same key like that it's just so crazy but it's like okay i've been doing this for 12 years so it kind of makes sense yeah but um (laughs) for the most part (laughs) <laughs> for the most part I really sit there and I'd be trying to find something that matches so perfectly and like I hate that I'm so such a perfectionist because like I could put so many things together and just put it out I really can and mm-hmm. I know a lot of people who do do that mm-hmm. but like I'm just so particular like I need that shit to sound like so smooth so good for me to actually like put it together and put that out like I could put Adele and Beyonce with like absolutely anything but I ear wise like i need it to fit like i'm just such a perfectionist so it takes time more recently i feel like you've been more vulnerable with your process or like open with your process as far as like your music producing goes Uh uh-huh so like when you do that like what is it are you showing people your creative process or are you hoping to help new djs coming into the scene um definitely just hoping to help like I always say like that's why I'm here and that's like what keeps me going is being able to inspire people and teach people especially when like people come up to me during shows and like have questions or like I appreciate when people actually DM me because I know people are afraid to but like the people who actually open up to me and DM me like that it really gives me like what I need to like live if I'm being honest and do what I do because like I want to just share my knowledge that's just really what I'm about and I'm just starting getting into like opening about my creative process and actually mm-hmm. like show it and one is to show it of course but to me like to be honest is really to help people like I even just where I am in my life like I still want mentors I still want people to show me things so like I know a lot of people who haven't you know not necessarily done what I've done but are in the same field or are still looking for answers like I'm hoping to provide that anywhere I can that's beautiful Thank like you. you're not trying to gatekeep but you're also just like you're sharing your genius because to me, that looks like another language, like Chinese, like not even a language <laughs> that I can even begin to understand. Like, you know, Spanish, I'm up there with it. I grew up <laughs> listening to it. I have now been teaching myself. I'm learning. And like, you know, it comes to me naturally. So like, yeah. if I were to want to learn something new in Spanish, I might be able to do that. But like music production or like anything like that, like, you know, I have. I've dated my fair share of DJs, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and like watching their process, I'd be like, you got it. It's a lot. You it's a got lot. Because, like, you know, I think I've shared like how I love music. I'm like, could I be a DJ? Because, you know, I'd be trying to do everything. <laughs> I, I could do anything and everything. No, ma'am. Me no, ma'am. Too. That is something that, like, I don't know. I just don't have it. Like, math, don't have it. 
don't have it past basic algebra. That's why I didn't do that shit. Like, so there are just things I know I'm good at. Mm -hmm. And there are things that I want to try. I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> Listen, if you want to show me, I might be able to. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Hey, it's always fun to do. Like, it's it's fun to play with, you know? Yeah, to just try something new and, like, yeah. do that. Because, like, I mean, don't. If I get started and I'm good at it, I might have to, uh, I might have to hide. What's up? Hide I might have to, you know, the mental Because, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, I, I don't know. I am so inspired by people like yourself who are creative. Yeah. In another lane. Because, like, I'm creative over here. Yeah. But, like, you your are. creativity is so, like, it's vast. It's never ending. Like, music is never ending. Right. Production is never ending. Like, not to say, like, any of my careers are never ending. Like, events are, people are always going to throw events. Yeah. And I always need DJs for events. You know what I'm saying? So, like, those two blend in that way. Mm -hmm. I could never be like, oh, my DJ canceled, but I'm going <laughs> to. Oh, I'm going to throw a set right now. Like, imagine. Fuck it. Like, be your backup. <laughs> <laughs> the way how I would plug in my phone, <laughs> I would I would let Apple Music do her thing because <laughs> I don't have it like that. But I do think like I appreciate, even though I'm not receiving, I appreciate the fact that people like you are open in that way because it shows your heart one. But it also yeah. shows that like this isn't something it's not impossible. Mm -hmm. Like what I do, even though you're vetted because now you're a decade and some change into your career. Yeah. You could start at any point. Yes. Know? So like in that, you say that like people come up to you at shows or like wherever on the street and they ask you questions. But like, what is some just real raw advice that you could give somebody who is like you in the beginning? Like, I love music. It moves me, but I have no idea where to start. Mm -hmm. like, don't know how to I'm not brave enough to move to L.A. and do what you did. You know, like <laughs> there are limited factors, but like. What is just like, boom, like this is it. All that other shit comes over time. But like, this 100%. is it. Yeah. Um, it really is just like believing in yourself. Like I believed in myself so much and I made shit happen for myself. Like nobody like really helped me if I'm being honest. Obviously, I have my, my family support, but making shit happen and everything that I got is by myself. So it's like really just. If you want to do it, you gonna have to do it. You don't have to like really do it by yourself and get the shit you want for yourself and being consistent and just be about it. Like be consistent and be about it and let the world know who you are. Let the world know who you are. Get, like that's your, that's gotta be your shit. Cause like I'm letting you know who I am. <laughs> Even yeah. if you never, I'm new here, but I'm going to let you know who I am. Exactly. Like, that's fire. I love yeah. that. Like, I love that you could just know, you could say it know it to be true because you've done it and like i always tell people who like come and ask me for advice like you can ask me advice and if it doesn't resonate with you it's because you aren't ready to receive it exactly in the way but like if you're asking and i'm you find that like you're, i'm somebody you are looking up to or like you 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 ask me for a reason like yeah. you gotta believe that i know what i'm talking about exactly a little bit like even the tiniest amount <laughs> so i think that like what you do and how you do and why you do is so like awe inspiring. And, Thank like, you. I don't know. I love it. I love. Stop. I'm inspired by you too. <laughs> Thank you. I love to be like in a space where we're both inspired by each other. Like that's what's really about. Because it's never ending. No, it's not. Oh, unstoppable. It's like this. This this life is hard. So like the way we both push and hustle for our shit is yeah. just like it's very inspiring. Yeah, and I just did it again. I just moved. Again. Like, <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> I did. And now I'm in this new space and I'm like, I'm going to let y'all know who I am. Right. Right. Period. It's refreshing. Yeah. Let's go. It keeps going. Because I, I, I don't stop. stop. <laughs> Are you don't stopping stop. anytime soon? Because I'm not. And the fact that like we're this far into our careers and we're this young. I know. The world is our oyster. Like the world is your playground. Mm -hmm. It's your concert. It's your tour. Yeah. And it's my event. You know? <laughs> <laughs> We're here with it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, from the bottom of my heart, like, I thank you so much thank for coming you. here. Thank you. I do have one last question. Yes. So you made it happen for yourself with, with your first tour and other tours, your mm -hmm. first, like, world tour. Where do you see yourself in the next year? In the next year? Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. Life's been a little hard. Um, my dreams are still fucking big as shit, mm -hmm. but I really just see myself like getting 
uh, more advanced with my producing and finally like having like artists like get on my beats because I really just be cooking up in my room for hours and days and I keep it to myself but this year I'm really trying to just like show that side of like my real like I get to make my own beats I get to make my own music so I feel like that's just deep so it really is just like honing in on that skill that's like my biggest thing for this year I'm not gonna lie yeah produced by Naya Bad <laughs> up here he is. <laughs> <laughs> please so Naya I thank you again. Thank you. I am so excited to continue to be inspired by you Same and how you manifested. This is a manifesting podcast. That is what I tell everyone. I love like, that. if anything, if I hope anybody takes anything from me, is that I have manifested my entire fucking life. Like, and I will continue to, even in my downfalls, like, even in like, which I'm very open about. You manifest in this space because it's a space to receive, mm-hmm. to inspire, yes, and to create. Yep. So I thank you. Thank you. I love you. Yeah, I love hope you too. y'all were inspired as much as I am. I will continue to be by Naya. We will link all of the socials, the TikTok, and the videos that I think you need to see because they get my day started on a hey. regular basis. And as always, please follow me, Caitlin Diaries and Candy House LA for the latest and greatest. We'll talk about it with Kate. We'll see you soon. Bye. <gasps> what? Nervous wear. You did so beautiful. <laughs> Please, Please, why? Like a couple times, was I gonna cry? I was like, Please. stop.